This is Pramit Kumar Senapati from Chudiyanti Easy Academy and again uh, I welcome you to this different trick on Chudiyanti and in this week we will look at zero tolerancing at MMC and during this uh, presentation I will discuss how it impacts your manufacturing process and how the manufacturing people can get benefit from the MMC and this particular idea of zero Tolerancing at MMC, the design crew need to clearly understand and also the manufacturing people they need to clearly understand this time concept. But typically will uh, your quotation price increase and most of the people they complain that if you put a zero tolerancing at your geometric dimension in callout, they used to say that quotation price will be high, pretty high. So uh, give something tolerance there. So we need to understand what is this zero tolerancing at MMC and why we use it by using the zero tolerancing at MMC in GDNT is one of the most neglected concept and that I'll be discussing in this different trick and definitely you will learn a lot. By looking at this definition zero tolerancing at MMC most of the people they think that this is zero tolerancing that means you don't have any tolerance at all available inside your drafting sheet so if you look at this left and right side drafting and here if you see the gdnt call out here you can see the mmc values for positioning tolerance is 0.2 whereas in the right side the mmc value for positioning this pool is absolutely zero so most of the people they think that a larger value in your GDNT callout, the feature control frame callout is better. If you have a larger value then only that makes sense and you get a larger variation of tolerance and that will be a economic. But when using geometric dimensioning and tolerancing and you are using the zero tolerancing, the really you always get the maximum tolerance only through the zero tolerance but most of the people why they get confused is because of the very genuine reason that the zero and when you have something inside the color out in a very common sense the people they used to think that yeah you will be getting a tolerance of course larger values when you have zero but that is not true so let me compare one by one if you look at this particular hole and the variation here is 10.5 to 10.1 and if you see the difference in our lmc and mmc condition the 10.1 will be the mmc condition because this is hole and if you look at this particular call out your nine point line will be your mmc condition so if you see the difference here the 5.1 and this particular difference 10.5 and 10.1 you'll get 0.4 as the bonus tolerance and you have a positioning tolerance of 0.2 if collectively will add this both the thing it will come 0.6 just like that here you have absolutely zero tolerance for your positioning but here if you see the difference 10.5 and 9.9 it will be 0.6 so bonus tolerance will be 0.6 here but positioning tolerance will be absolutely zero so you have the total possible tolerance 0.6 and here also 0.6 but what about the exact virtual condition for this and this if you see the virtual condition here this is very simple mathematical calculation you have the mmc condition the perfect form of mmc and here also you have a perfect form of mmc so if you look at this 10.1 and still at the mmc you have 0.2 tolerance for positioning so you have to deduct it so when you deduct it you will get 9.9 10.1 minus 0.2 but in this case 9.9 minus 0 that also gives you 9.9 so for both the case the virtual condition is 9.9 but where exactly you get different variation because when you manufacture you never get 9.9 or whatever it may be so we always look for reference your MMC condition so 10.1 if is your MMC condition so JDNT rule number one says perfect form at MMC that means 
at the perfect form what you get is here you get zero tolerance so you get a perfect form but if you see the calculations here really in this particular block you will get the maximum possible tolerance so this particular the virtual uh, calculations in both the cases is 9.9 and the position intolerance in both the cases also 0.6 but this is the case which we will be looking at and we will discuss why you will get more tolerance let us look at one more example where I can explain you this concept so if you look at this particular slide what you will notice is something different if you look at this particular callout, the tolerance here is 0.32, the 032, and here you have absolute zero tolerance. But what about the MMC condition here? Let us calculate. So MMC condition will be this one. So 0 0.2, uh, 0 0.282, and when you deduct it, so you'll be getting it 0.8282. So this particular values and you will get 0 0.32 as your position tolerance. So if you see this particular both the cases this is the condition at the MMC whereas if you look at the MMC condition here this is nothing but 0 0.250 and when you see the 0 0.250 you have the zero tolerance in available here but if you look at the different variation 0.28 because you will never always get 0.82 so because of the variation if you get the alteration it will come till the LMC so 0.288 you can see point this and this if you add this is nothing but 0.288 so the variation will be 0.282 and then it will come to 284, 285 and 288 so gradually when you move away from your MMC you get the higher tolerance but the number of cases here is nothing but the seven cases you are getting when you are moving away from the MMC till this condition and all will be as per your print but here you can see the 38 different cases and the zero tolerance in absolutely when you are getting the 0 0.250 as per the rule number one for that form at MMC that means you are having the zero position in tolerance and you are maintaining a perfect form but here you are getting the number of variation is total 38 so when you are getting the 38 as the number and when you are getting here only the 7 as the number absolutely you can understand which is the best condition for manufacturing people so manufacturing people get a loser tolerance when they use the zero so let us look at the MMC 2.50 you get absolutely zero tolerance because perfect form at MMC what about if you depart from the MMC, the 0.25, you are getting tolerance 0 0.01. If you talk about 0.252, you are getting 0 0.02 and so on. So when you increase from 0.252, maybe 0.260, you will be getting the additional tolerance accordingly. And when you go for 0.283, you are getting 0 0.03. And when you are getting 0.288, you are again getting 0 0.038. So when you move away from the MMC, you will get this tolerance. So the total range of the position tolerance will be pretty high. And this will be a beneficial part for your manufacturing people. And definitely they will get benefit out of the zero tolerance because you have a higher tolerance capability here and the number of holes will be accepted and in this case you see if you have any holes out of this all will be rejected but here all will be accepted from 0 0.250 to 0 0.288 you cannot think about 0 0.250 in this case because that all will be out of print and in this case that all will be accepted and this definitely will benefit the manufacturing people so design bureau those people they need to always think about this when you talk about any particular rule when you apply the zero tolerancing then definitely that gives you the better ROI and where you can really reduce the quotation not you can expect a higher quotation by using the zero tolerancing you can really give them higher room or you can say more tolerance to play around and more possible 
you know the variations you can accommodate in between those tolerance stack and if you look at the final calculation sheet and you look at the variation that you can see in ordinary uh, this tolerancing where you don't have the zero tolerancing let us say whatever the tolerance range you have used so from the lmc to mmc when you vary these are the rejected range where in this particular range if you are getting the 250 those are all the range you can see are the accepted range which already i discussed and i talked so even though that gives you a zero tolerancing here in this geometric call out and in your geometric dimensioning tolerancing call out you really get a higher tolerancing range here you can see 0.250 to 270 whereas here you have to go for a tighter 0.60 to 270 so the measuring gauge or whatever you are using has to rely this range and because of that the departed range from mmc will not be accepted and those will be not according to the print so this all range when you are getting the rejected here you are getting all those as a accepted range because those are within the mmc and lmc your range is 270 and 250 here you have 250 270 but here you have to go for 260 to 270 to have the same tolerance collectively and here when it departs from your mmc you get this tolerance even though you have a zero this is only at mmc it is not for all the condition when you depart from mmc you of course get tolerance and these are the tolerance which you are getting but the virtual condition for all the cases are same in all the cases just like the one we calculated so hope this particular explanation will help the design group and manufacturing group and really they can get a better roi by using the zero tolerancing at mmc and i definitely expect to uh, apply this and all the people they will get benefit after going through this particular presentation thank you